Now, don't get me wrong. I'm all for the sinner, and especially one that is in the mainstream, repenting of their sin and finding Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior so as to gain salvation. But when we look at how the mainstream media, and this includes the so-called Christian leaders who are in open apostasy, promoting men like Kanye West as if he's some sort of a role model onto all the young people out there that are seeking the Lord Jesus Christ. I mean, those with eyes that see know exactly what we're looking at here. This is no different than that video I did about the Pope's wound being healed years ago. They used the same methods there. And by the way, that's something not a single preacher, and even those that supposedly teach prophecy, will ever declare out in the open out of fear of being mistaken. I mean, everywhere you look today, you see Christians are hated, ridiculed, slandered, and even persecuted all over the world, right? I mean, Hollywood, government schools, as well as private schools, and homosexuals, and just about every man or woman on the street openly hates Christians for one reason or another. In fact, just speaking of Jesus Christ in a positive way in public usually gets you in trouble. And so why, I ask, was the Pope, who claims to be the leader of the Christian world, being embraced by all those that openly hate Christians, as I shared in that video about his wound being healed? Well, it's because the fix is in. Rome knows they have all their ducks in a row. And so now it is time to push their pagan version of Christianity so as to cause the final shoe to drop towards the enforcement of their mark. You know, that's also why we see them making plans for the one world government by the year 2030 as we speak. But the Pope can only do so much as he only controls one billion Catholics and the majority of one billion Muslims who, by the way, have recently declared their loyalty to the Pope on camera. And so, as prophesied, Satan needs everyone in Rome's camp if his final plans for the mark are ever to be realized. And so now they know they need a popular so-called Protestant Christian to stand up before all the people and declare Rome's version of Jesus legit. And so that's why you have Kanye West announcing his so-called conversion not too long after having an on-camera sit-down with the U.S. president, too, by the way. You know, it makes me wonder when guys like Justin Bieber and other popular singers are going to start preaching via their songs. You know, I mean, the biblical reality is this. Most, if not all, that worked in the entertainment industry that found Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, they all left the decadence of Hollywood because following Jesus while still enjoying the sinfulness of Hollywood just plain doesn't mix. But this is not the case with Kanye West. I mean, he even made an album so as to promote his version of Jesus with what he called religious music. That is not something any obedient Christian would consider Christ-like or even wholesome for that matter. In fact, a recent song of his ends with him actually screaming like he has a demon. He's even holding church services on Sunday, which, by the way, further confirms his connection with the man of sin in Rome, who changed the Bible Sabbath from the seventh day of the week to the first day of the week, exactly as the popes were prophesied to do long ago. And so what Kanye West is doing is going to lure many young people from all over the world that the Pope can't reach that have yet to step into apostate churches, you know, be they Catholic or Protestant, really doesn't matter now. And so the obvious next step for Kanye was for him to join hands with the most popular apostate preacher in the USA, Joel Osteen, so that he can hold a church service in his theater, if you will, and do it on a globally televised network. I mean, this is the same Joel Osteen, by the way, who not too long ago had his wife declare on camera the following. when we're happy. That's the thing that gives him the greatest joy this morning. So I want you to know this morning, just do good for your own self. Do good because God wants you to be happy. When you come to church, when you worship him, you're not doing it for God, really. You're doing it for yourself because that's what makes God happy. Amen. Let's open our heart to him today. And that was five years ago. And now Kanye West literally holds a church service with what appears to be a robotic head-bobbing choir singing rap songs dressed in black with a massive spinning globe of the world glorified in what appears to be made of gold behind them. And if you watch this video, you will see how that music got all of the 20,000 people present in that church into a frenzy so as to generate a solid spiritual connection with the fallen angel of music. 
And if you read your Bibles, you know that Satan is, in fact, that angel. I mean, he even has musical instruments built inside his body. I mean, notice the tabrets that are mentioned in Ezekiel 28, 13. And yes, this is why music has become so dark and evil today. All that you see happening on screen today is what used to be hidden behind closed doors. It's now out in the open because the devil knows his time is short, and so he needs to get all of it out there so as to garner billions of souls into his charred trophy case. What's happening here with Kanye West is nothing more than another method of popularizing the Vatican's fake Jesus so as to cultivate the long-prophesied mindset worldwide that's needed to gather the masses into the camp of Rome when the mark is finally enforced worldwide. I'm surprised Kanye West hasn't met with the Pope on camera yet. And now that all the Protestant churches are worshiping the Catholic version of Jesus that we know was also prophesied and can be seen by all their Vatican-approved doctrines from their Bible-defying Roman Sabbath of Sunday to embracing pagan holidays as the norm, which, by the way, were designed by the devil to anger God, very soon we will see the enemy of souls appear on earth claiming to be a living, breathing version of this well-advertised fake Jesus that all these poor souls have been taught to believe is the real Jesus. And just as Christian prophecy warned, every person on earth, with the exception of the obedient elect of God, will bow in worship so as to receive the mark of the beast and be granted eternal damnation. And for those that think warning the world about Kanye West and his friends in Hollywood, please open your Bibles to Ephesians 5 verse 11. Thank you for watching. God bless.